Chi Yu is making its Pokemon TCG debut and Paldea evolved and the card certainly has some potential. With the first attack, Burning Envy, bringing back memories of Hound Doomy Axe, discarding the top two cards of our opponent's deck. And this is not what we're going to be playing it for though, because concepts like this have simply been power crept out of the format. We're playing it for that second attack, Flame Surge, which for two fire energies is 100, and we can select three of our bench Pokemon and attach a fire energy to each of them. So as you can see, we're playing all these wonderful uh, one hit Pokemon that we can attack with in certain situations. So we can use that Flame Surge, attach them to our bench Pokemon, and use Armor Rouge from Scarlet and Violet, whose fire off ability lets us as often as we like during our turn, move a fire energy from one of our bench Pokemon to our active Pokemon. So we can easily load up all these tech attackers. I'm playing two Empoleon Vs uh, as a way to wall off Lost in Box deck because I have a feeling that we're not going to be trading too well with uh, mostly two prizes into those uh, single prize Lost in Box decks. Um, and uh, as you'll see later on in the video, I'm playing Luminous Energy so we, we can attack with um, Empoleon V. A uh, one Entei as a solid fire beat stick as, uh, attacker is a bit higher damage baseline than Chi Yu. Uh, Rot Raikou gives us a lightning weakness which allows us to hit Palkia and Lugia. Uh, Zamazenta, not only is the ability pretty cool, it lets us once during our turn we can discard our hand and draw 5, but we, we use this ability our turn ends. That uh, Revenge Blast attack um, is just a weakness on uh, Chin Pao, and also gives us a powerful late game swing option. Delphox is going to be another solid attack in single prize matchups, being able to do a 120 to our active and 120 to um, an opponent's bench Pokemon. Uh, we, we can take multiple prizes on a weak, uh, on a weak evolving Pokemon. Uh, one Radiant Charizard just as a very high uh, one-shot attack early in in the game. We, of course, we can use it early on too if the situation does call for it. Uh, we're playing one Drapion just to solidify that that new matchup, and then one Squawk ability for that show-off ability. So on, on our first turn of the game, we really can pop off and try to get a first turn attack with our GU. I want to set up quickly with this deck, so I'm playing four Professor's Research for the, for the discard draw. I just wanted to see a lot of cards on the very first turn and set up very quickly. Two uh, Iano just for that little bit of shuffle draw and also for the disruption late on in the game. Boss order so we can chase down our opponent's Pokemon. Uh, one Penny because we have uh, our whole deck is almost exclusively basics, so this can uh, just, just serve as a healing card. It can deny prizes. We can pick up our Squawk ability after our... Um, after that uh, first turn to remove that two prize li liability. I'm playing a one forest seal stone, uh, just has that uh, computer search effect as we have no uh, V-Star power otherwise. But the, uh, we're also playing one sky seal stone because in those V-Star and V-Max matchups, I want to be able to take that extra prize and we're playing all the uh, V attackers that can capitalize on it. Uh, two charm of courage because uh, we're playing all basics and uh, Tr Term of Courage is a reprint of Cape of Toughness, a plus 50 HP on a basic Pokemon. So I can slap a Term of Courage on my uh, Chi Yu and make a normally underwhelming uh, 190 HP all the way up to 240. And then uh, Magma Basin is one of our main ways to accelerate energies. It lets us attach a Fire Energy from Red Scarf Pile to one of our bench Fire Pokemon. We do to put two damage counters down so we can just uh, Magma Basin onto that Armor Rouge and then just pop it right onto the the active and, and start swinging right away. I'm playing maximum ball surge with four nest ball and four ultra ball. I just want to be able to set up very consistently and one student heavy ball makes a lot of sense in a deck like this where I'm just playing um, a lot of tech Pokemon so it really suck if I was uh, facing down a Mew uh, VMAX deck and then I my Drapion was prized so um, ho hopefully by playing a student heavy ball we can uh, remove those uh, frustrating circumstances and in the same way we're playing a student heavy ball we are playing one uh, super rod because um, if that one of Pokemon gets knocked out early or we have to discard it um, off a research or something Something like that uh, we can have two of those in one game with a super rod a uh, two switch and one escape rope to move between our pokemon i'd like to play more for that um, extra ability to get into the employee on the first turn but uh, this is just where we're at right now three tracking shoes just to get through the deck as fast as possible we don't mind the discard energy too much can help us get fires into this card pile i just want to set up quickly with this deck and then one pal pad if, if we're popping off with a research squawk ability shoes we, we might be discarding some supporter cards in the early game so in order to make our late game stronger uh, put bosses back into the deck put iona back into the deck when we, we need it i'm playing one pal pad lastly we're playing seven fire energies and four luminous energies a fire energy because of course it's going to be uh, the main energy we'll be accelerating and attacking with our pokemon with and luminous energy is very cool because it can count for any type of energy as long as there's only one special energy attached we always can stash it on like a Char Cadet or a Armor Rouge in the early game and then um, move it onto our active Pokemon when we're ready to use to use it in the late game. So as long as we don't put two uh, Luminous Energies on our on one of our uh, Pokemon, we can stash these for later and we'll use all our fun tech attackers to have options for every matchup. So here's my deck all laid out. I'm trying to just have a pretty simplistic approach, nothing too crazy in here. The only thing I, I really have that's like super techy is the two Empoleons, but I really just want to have a very solid Lost Zone box matchup. I'm a bit concerned with how this deck uh, will fare in the standard meta, especially with uh, the combination of Iono, Path to the Peak, because we don't have any draw engine like a barrel or anything to really uh, 
fall back on late in the game. So this deck just aims just to swing hard, swing quickly, hit our opponent for weakness, and hopefully uh, take the win that way. So what do you guys think of Chiyu Firebox? Is this going to be a successful deck in the standard format, or do you think it's uh, it's, it's not going to be as good? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. You wouldn't say by chance you're actually looking for some more Paldea Evolved Rogue decks, would you? Well, either way, I have this video over the 10 Rogue decks that are much improved after Paldea Evolved.